Hey, ho everyone, Ginger Gargoyle here. My cold is still sticking around. I have something to drink if needed, which I need right now. As if I get into a coughing fit, I'm not going to be able to get out of it. <clears throat> this is a haul video, as you can see from the purple. This is from ScrapbookingMadeSimple.com in Santa Clarita, California. This is my shop that did not hop sale. This is the one that she had back in July. Um, it was July 12th when this order went in. I just received it Thursday. Um, if you hear anything in the background, it's because I have the whistler playing on my phone. And I'm actually recording it for my husband. Let me turn that down a little bit for you. And I need my phone because it has my invoice on it. So I can tell you the names and what I paid for them. So, let's get into this. Remember that to get free shipping from Scrapbooking Made Simple, you need to order $50 worth of merchandise. Um, unless it's a sale such as the Shop That Did Not Hop, or what she used to call the Sizzix Warehouse Sale. But now she has several different companies that she does, so it's no longer just the Sizzix Warehouse Sale, but she still calls it the Shop That Did Not Hop. For that one, you have to pay shipping no matter how much you spend. If you spend a dollar, you have to pay shipping. If you spend $500, you have to pay shipping. And you have to wait until it ships because it's such a large order that she has to pay for the merchandise. They have to pull the merchandise. They have to send it to them. They have to sort it out. And by the time that all gets done, they're not shipping out anything until at least no less than six months after they place the order. So my, I had one that took two years, two years to get to me. That one was kind of a, uh, could not believe that. So it ships when it ships, guys, really. And you have to have patience. You really do. Okay, let's get into these. I got some Contour Creation cutting dies. This is the Contour Creation Enchanted Tea Party die. This is called the Enchanted Vase, and I paid, are you ready, $2.99, $3 for this cutting die, okay, that's it, 3 bucks. I'm telling you, if you could possibly wait, this is the sale to hit, okay, then I got a Contour Creations Nouveau Cut and Foil die. This is the Nouveau Butterfly, okay, you can see that it's a butterfly, and it not only does the hot foil, but it also cuts, and this one, I paid $3.99 for, four bucks, guys. Oh, you try to get a hot foil plate anywhere for less than 10 bucks, I'm telling you, this is a great, great sale to wait for. Then I got some Dewcraft X-Cut Large Dies, okay? These, it's a 10-piece set, and it's called Paper Clips. And it does all these different kinds of paper clips, all right? And, oh, I was going to say, this ha comes with a magnet inside of it, too. All right, this was $7. Now, $7 might not seem like it's very cheap, but remember, this comes with a magnet, and the magnet is... This full size. Okay, the magnet starts here, all right, and it's from top to bottom. So it's a rather large magnet. Okay, then I got the Ducraft X Cut Mini Die. This is called Moon Glazer. Graze, moon Gazer. Look at that. Look how pretty that bunny rabbit is. All right, and I paid a dollar fifty, a dollar fifty for a die. That's incredible. I got some Simply Define. This is the filigree butterfly. Okay, and you can see that it is a hot plate. Five dollars. That's it, guys. Five dollars. I'm telling you. These sales are incredible, and I do believe this is a cut die, too. Yep, yep, yep. See the see the ridge around the outside? It's a cut die. I picked up 
her Joy Dove. Okay. And this one was also $5. All right. This is another foil and cut. I picked up a hot foil stamp set from the, uh, let's see, Strength is in the Present. No, Strength is in Presence. This is the Safari Wave die. See how pretty that is? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. This was originally twenty bucks. I got it for ten dollars. Okay. Hang on. That is not the only one that I got. I also got from Simply Defined the Tribal Tapestry. Again, for ten dollars. Let's see if I can't get this to focus. Okay, see how pretty that looks? All right, and that's the actual size of the die. All right. Ten dollars. To me, that is just amazing. Then I got two of these. All right. <clears throat> if you're if you're familiar with the Tim Holtz Sidekick die cutting machine, you know that it's like two and a half inches wide. The space that it goes through. I picked up two of these clear cutting plates because I could not see the point. Of when I am cutting something as small as that stargazer or moon gazer using a, two whole plates, two huge plates. So I just got these little ones because that's really all that those need. So I picked up two of those and these were $2.40 a piece. That's it, $2.40 a piece. That's why I picked up two of them. <clears throat> Then I picked this up. This was $4.89. It's a single plate. It is from Sizzix. I'm going to leave it on the white paper because I think that would be easier for you to see this indentation. That means that if I stick a butterfly on here, the wings will pop up, but the butterfly will stay in there because it has this indentation. All right, because it has this this well, this ditch that goes down, it doesn't cut there, all right? So that will be nice to play with. I also got some big dies. This is Tim Holtz Old Glory. Now, if you aren't familiar with big dies, they are huge. You do not need your your um, shim plates with these, okay? All you need is a plate on the top, clear plate on the top, clear plate on the bottom. You roll it through. This has real metal blades in it, all right? So don't leave these on the floor. If you step on them, they will cut you, but they are meant to cut through several layers of paper. They are made to cut through leather. They are made to cut through material. They are made to cut, 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 all right? I also got this one. This is another Tim Holtz. Oh, oh, for Old Glory, I paid $2.99. $2.99. Okay. This is uh, called a mini cabinet. Mini cabinet card is what this is supposed to make. All right. Two dollars and fifty cents. That's it. All right. The you can see these two round things. Those are magnets. You use those on a metal adapter plate, which I already have. Which I don't know where I put it. I just had it earlier today. But that cuts out that shape. The blade is on the outside. Again, don't leave these around. And again, just the two clear plates is all you need. And then I picked up, oh my goodness, I accidentally closed my thing here. Um, I picked up the Vintage Cabinet Card Set. 
I don't know why he calls these cabinet cards. I thought they looked a lot like tombstones. That's why I got them. Um, and this was $3. $3 for this. Again, metal plate. And this brick in here, don't throw these out. These keep your paper from getting smashed down inside because then they are difficult as hoot to get out of there. Okay. Then I got two embossing folders. This is a two-in-one embossing folder for a dollar. One dollar got me two embossing folders. Not a dollar a piece, one dollar for both. I got both the crown and the heart. These are just regular embossing folders. You can see that they've got, well actually you probably can't see because this is probably having a heck of a time uh, focusing. These have the regular sides. They're pretty much well one level. Okay, not 3D, nothing special like that. One dollar. Then I got, oh, where'd that one go? Here we go. I got these two little leaves, three little leaves, excuse me. These three little leaves from Trim Craft. These were three dollars. Okay. I still felt that that was a good price, although these were smaller than I figured that they would be. For a dollar forty-nine or a dollar fifty, I got the ultimate create or ultimate crafts die um, in intrinsic and ornament set. All right, I figured these would make beautiful hinges. And this would look great on the um, as a side thing on the side of a scrapbook. Okay, so I figured hinges and a book plate. Um, then I got the Ultimate Crafts Die Ornament Entrance Set. All right, and this was also a dollar fifty. These are beautiful, beautiful sets. Now, I do not believe that these had magnets. I think these are just taped in or glued onto the, onto the paper. And then, with every order that you place through her warehouse sale, you get a free gift. This last year, she did um, Frozen, and so she gets these enamel pins, all right, and you can see prints, or er, Prince Olaf, the snowman Olaf on there, all right, and you get stamps, you can see you get a sentiment, you get a stamp, I like the snowflake, and then you get the dies that go with it, and this is absolutely free, if you spend one dollar, you get this, if you spend five hundred dollars, you get this, free gift, that's it. All right, guys, that was it for this order. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to have to play with some of these things and have some fun. But, um, yeah, let's see. I don't think I can get into these. These look sealed. Yes, they are. These are sealed, and yes, these are glued down. These are not, are not on magnets. Like, like, uh, where's that one that I said was on a magnet? It was the paper clips. Paper clips are in a magnet, okay? So make sure that you check all your, your cutting dies when you order them, because some have magnets that are kind of hidden. I did not realize this had a magnet until I pulled it out to do the first video. And I was like, well, wait a second, how's this being held in there? And when I opened it up, that's when I discovered the full sheet magnet. Okay, guys, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.